Hey there folks, I've got an RU battle for you today. My opponent is James Lowe, that's his smog on username. He has a YouTube channel and that is Super RP. I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, getting down to the battle. I lead off with my Tachikoma and go ahead and Volt Switch right out of there because there's not much I can do to his... Um, I didn't think there was much I could do to his Metacham. Turns out I could have done a hell of a lot of could have one hit, one hit KO'd with Leaf Storm, but oh well. Uh, I go ahead and send out George III who should wall this guy for days. He's going to go ahead and bubble punch me, trying to do something before Life Orb uh, Recoil kills him. I figured that Life Orb Recoil would kill him, so I'm just going to go for the slack off um, with my Slow King. So yeah, out comes Ludicolo, and I'm like, Psh, whatever, I can take uh, anything from a Ludicolo. He's going to go for the Giga Drain, I'm not fearing too badly, and I survived with 250 HP, I'm doing okay. And then he goes for the Ice Beam, and I'm like, Psh, whatever, and then I die, so yeah. Tangela does not have good special defense. This is something that I really need to learn. Um, I go ahead and send out Tuesday because I think it'll resist pretty much any of his attacks. Um, and he's going to go ahead and send out Bopalant here. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Poison Jab. Does a whole lot thanks to a, fact, uh, thanks to a Lucky Crit. Going to go ahead and call back, fearing the... Not sure what I was fearing. Wasn't fearing the Earthquake, though. And so Earthquake is going to hit Hatterack, and it's going to do a hell of a lot of damage, and it's going to force me to have to switch out this next turn. I'm thinking he's probably banded. So I'm going to go ahead and send out Tachikoma, uh, who's not affected by it since it levitates, and that's great, forcing a switch, uh, leading me to believe that he is banded. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Willowist just in case he stayed in, and I hit the Ludicolo. It's not great, I'm gonna have to switch out because I am locked into it. Uh, I switch out into Aldino, I'm hoping I can take the Focus Blast, and I can. 192 HP, after leftovers I'm gonna be at over half, and this is great because the thing about Focus Blast is that it misses. So two Focus Blasts in a row hit, and that's not great for me, but it's not awful either. I survived with 4 HP, uh, luckily he didn't get a crit or anything. Uh, that was also probably a case of min and max damage. But yeah, I survived with 29 HP, gonna go for the Protect here, just to, and uh, as he goes for the Surf, not gonna take any chances. I'm up to 234, and I'm doing okay, 259 after leftovers, and so now Focus Blast is finally gonna miss, and I think he was a little bit grumpy about that, but, you know, he doesn't really have a right to be because Focus Blast has such awful accuracy, and he did hit two of, out of three, that's pretty darn good. Uh, so anyway. Aldina's going to go ahead and poison his Cathagrigus, uh, and now that I see he's running the Calm Mindset, I'm like, oh crap, that Toxic was completely worthless, because every single one of these runs Rest. So I'm like, jeez, I have no idea how I'm going to take this thing out, because I don't have any super effective Ghost-type moves. My other Rotoms carry Dark Pulse, uh, the Rotom on this team does not, and so actually the Leaf Storm would do more Dark Pulse, I think. I can do that math correctly. But anyway, I'm just not sure how I'm going to KO this guy because I'm going to need to hit KO in order to beat him. So he's getting off some more calm minds. It's looking a little threatening. He goes for the hidden power fighting here, which I was kind of expecting, and doesn't actually do that much. I'm going to go ahead and um, use Dragon Tail to swap him out before he can rest uh, and have all those defense uh, raises up. I'm, I know it's not a chest set at the very least. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call out into George the uh, Third, predicting the Surf. I predicted quite well. Surf actually does a fair amount thanks to a crit, but... You know, you can't get that many crits. He goes for a Shell Smash here, which is, you know, what you do with Omastar, I guess. I really, I think this is the first time I've seen Omastar in a battle this generation, but uh, I'm just going for the T-Wave because I'm predicting him to be a Shell Smashing set. Uh, T-Wave is going to be excellent because while he will have crazy powerful attack, I at least don't have to worry about him outspeeding me, and if George III is, by some awful bit of hacks, KO'd, then I will be able to send out my Scarfed Rotom to do uh, to KO. He does have a Focus Sash, that's actually pretty much expected. Uh, he goes for the Earth Power here, I actually didn't think that he, I didn't know that he had the Earth Power, and I'm worried about that KOing. He gets the Special Defense drop, but it's not enough to KO because George III is so amazing. So I take him out with another Scald, I've got 140 HP, and I'm really, really grateful for to Regenerator here. Gonna go ahead and send out Tuesday, uh, get off the Intimidate, because most of these guys are physically attacking. He's gonna go for the Brave Bird, it ain't gonna do jack. I mean, come on. Uh, you know, Tuesday is a physical wall, and she had got off the Intimidate. So I go ahead and go circle the layer of spikes. My opponent goes for the Whirlwind. Not sure why, he doesn't have any entry hazards up, but I guess didn't 
They wanted me to switch out. I don't want to stay in in case this guy runs knockoff or any other kind of dark move. He's going to go for the uh, toxic. Actually, that's what I was predicting. And, you know, Tuesday can't be to poisoned. He actually, my opponent actually did not know that step of time. But, uh, you know, it really didn't matter too much in the battle because you can chalk up his, the time that he used toxic against my Tuesday to uh, mispredict. Anyway, going to swap out here predicting my opponent not to go for Earthquake. Unfortunately, I did that was not a correct prediction. And I get hit by the Earthquake and that's not good. I just leave in Steelix to die at this point. I mean, there's no point. Down goes my Hatterack, and I'm going to send Tuesday back out, get off the Intimidate, and yes, I know I'm weak to Earthquake, but at that range of health, I think I can KO with an Aqua Jet. I can't! Amazingly, I can't! But I can survive the Earthquake, which is great, and so another uh, Aqua Jet is going to be enough to take him out, and had he swapped, he would have died to Entry Hazards anyway, so I knew he wasn't going to switch out, and his Bison is taken out. So that's great. Next out is that awful, awful Pythagoras, and I have no idea how I'm going to take it out. Send out maybe just... I don't know. Maybe I can stall him out. Maybe I can stall him out. I have no idea. Just got to keep the pressure on, keep him toxic, I guess. Uh, I think I'm going to go for Wish this turn, or maybe Heal Bell. No, Wish this turn. I think Heal Bell next turn. Uh, heal, uh, my opponent's going to go for another Calm Mind. And if this thing gets up to plus six and gets off arrest, I'm gonna be screwed. Uh, I think yeah, so. Toxic is doing a little bit more each turn. I swap out here, go into Tachikoma, which is going to be my hardest hitter. And I think, well, if I can trick on a scarf or something, that if I can trick on a scarf on this guy, then he can't rest and it'll all be okay. Um, here's the thing, though. He used Will O Wisp. He used Calm Mind. He used Hidden Power of Fighting. So. Is he really running Rest and not Shadow Ball? The answer is of course not. What kind of Cathagoras doesn't run Shadow Ball? Uh, and it turns out that my opponent is not actually running Rest. I had nothing to fear from this guy because I toxic it so well. Gonna go ahead and send out Maybe here. Printing the Shadow Ball, free switch in, and uh, Cathagoras goes down. And I am chalking this up to a kill for Maybe. Maybe wasn't in the whole time, but uh, I don't think anyone else attacked him, so... Yeah, I'm talking that up to a, uh, to a kill by my Audino. And as you all know, my Audino's gotten a shit ton of kills. Pardon my language, no, I'm just cursing up the storm. I used Poison Jab, which was a stupid, stupid move, because now that he's poisoned, I can't toxic him. And here's the thing about uh, Amanda Buzzes. They have Roost, so... What am I going to do? I mean, I just this is just another Pokemon that's extremely bulky, and I'm just not sure how I'm going to take it out. Uh, at this point, I didn't realize he was running Roost, but I should have realized it a lot sooner. And I'm just not sure that I have anything that can one-hit KO this guy, or two-hit KO him, rather. Uh, he's going to go for the Brave Bird. I'm just leaving him my Tuesday to get off as much damage as possible, keep on the pressure, and yeah, just keep it on the pressure is the, the bottom line there. So Poison does more and more. I'm going to go for the Waterfall and hope that at that range of health I can KO, but he survived just a teeny tiny bit of HP. He's going to go for the Roost, recover back up to 50%, a little bit less after leftovers, and I just realized that I'm screwed here. I am not going to be able to take out this Mandibuzz easily at all. Uh, my only hope is that I do have Volt Switch, which is super effective, on my Rotom, but it's burned, and I don't think I can safely switch it up then, so I'm going to have to wait until one of my Pokemon gets KO'd in order to switch it in successfully. So he's back up to full now because he did the double um, roost. He goes ahead and poisons me, but I've got the heal bell. I don't think he realized I had the heal bell before this point. And I think this is his last Pokemon, so at this point it really is a stall war, and I really could do the evil, evil thing of just switching around my regenerator Pokemon and just waiting for him to run out of PP, but I don't want to do that. I go for the wish this turn thinking, okay, well, my uh, Rotom is no longer burned, maybe it can take one hit, and if it can, then uh, then it'll get back up to a lot more than one hit worth of HP. So he goes ahead and uses Brave Bird, I survived with 22 HP, thanks to the fact that I did Intimidate earlier, I'm back up to actually full HP after that wish. Audino is an amazing wish passer, and the wish mechanics this generation are totally, totally awesome. Gonna go for the Volt Switch, just it's a super effective move, he's down about 50% health, and I managed to take him out. So that's great. I've won the battle. Great game. Uh, so long, folks.